in the waters of baptism. Patricia died with Christ and rose with him in new life. May she now share with him eternal glory. So. In life, Patricia cherished the gospel of Christ. May Christ now greet her with these words of eternal life. Come, blessed of my Father. In baptism, Patricia received the sign of the cross. May she now share in Christ's victory over sin and death. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And let us all be seated for a moment. We gather this morning with heavy hearts to pray for Patricia Riley. We ask the Lord to welcome her into eternal paradise. But we also pray this morning that the Lord be with her family, her children, Tom and John, the grandchildren, Emma and Kieran, daughter-in-law, Martina, her brother Dermot, who sadly can't be with us this morning, and all the family at this time, that the Lord will comfort them and be with them in a special way. So as we begin our celebration, let us take a moment to ask the Lord to give each one of us the grace, the love, to live lives so one day we can be reunited in the presence of Patricia and our risen Lord. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and what I have failed to do. Through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore I ask, Blessed Mary, Ever-Virgin, all the angels and saints, and to you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us all, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. O God, who are mercy for sinners and the happiness of your saints, give we pray to your servant Patricia, for whom we perform the fraternal office of burial, a share with your chosen ones in the blessedness you give, so on the day of resurrection, freed from the bonds of mortality, she may come before your face to our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. And now, John is going to lead us in our first reading. Read. 
reading from the prophet Isaiah. On this mountain, the Lord of hosts will prepare for all peoples a banquet of rich food. On this mountain, he will remove the mourning veil, covering all peoples, and the shroud enwrapping all nations. He will destroy death forever. The Lord will wipe away the tears from every cheek. He will take away his people's shame everywhere on earth, for the Lord has said so. That day it will be said, See, this is our God in whom we hoped for salvation. The Lord is the one in whom we hoped. We exult and we rejoice that he has saved us. This is the word of the Lord. By the Lord of sea and sky, I have heard my people cry, all who dwell in dark and still, my hand will save. I who made the stars of night, I will make reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Romans. If God is for us, who can be against us? Since God did not spare his own son, but gave him up to the benefit of us all, we may be certain after such a gift that he will not refuse anything he can give. Could anyone accuse those that God has chosen? When God acquits, could anyone condemn? Could Jesus Christ no, not only died for us, he rose from the dead, and there at God's right hand he stands and pleads for us. What will separate us from the love of Christ? Will hardship, or distress, or persecution, or famine, or nakedness, or peril, or the sword? No, in all these things we are more than conquerors through him who loved us. For I am convinced that neither death, nor life, nor angels, nor rulers, nor anything that exists, nor anything still to come, nor powers, nor height, nor depth, nor anything else in all creation, will be able to separate us from the love of God made visible in Jesus Christ our Lord. This is the word of the Lord. Thank you, God. <coughs> 
gospel acclamation. Alleluia, alleluia. God so loved the world that he gave his only son, so that everyone who believes in him may not die, but may have eternal life. Alleluia, alleluia. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Jesus said to the people, I tell you most solemnly, whoever listens to my words and believes in the one who sent me has eternal life. Without being brought to judgment has passed from death to life. I tell you most solemnly, the hour will come in fact, it is here already, when the dead will hear the voice of the Son of God, and all who hear it will live. For the Father, who is the source of life, has made the Son the source of life, because he is the Son of Man, the appointed Supreme Judge. This is the Gospel of the Lord, Jesus Christ. seated for a moment. Good morning again to all and a special welcome to all who are joining us online this morning. You're welcome to this beautiful little church here in Canalvi. And this morning, unfortunately, we gather with heavy hearts to pray for the gentle, caring, loving soul of Patricia O'Reilly. We pray that whatever human failings she may have had, her loving God will forgive and that she is now reunited with her deceased family, especially her best friend and soulmate, husband Eamon, her parents, Josephine and John, her sisters, Marion, in the presence of the God she so loved. We also pray in our Mass this morning for Patricia's family, her children, John and Tom, who read so well for us this morning, and the grandchildren, Emma and Kieran, her daughter-in-law, Martina, her brother Dermot, who sadly can't be with us this morning, the nephews and nieces, extended family and many friends, that at this time of great loss, our loving God will walk with us. Our first reading reminds us that when we celebrate Mass, as Patricia did so often in this church, it is not only the bread and wine that are changed. We too are changed in that we are given the grace, the nourishment, the strength, to live out the message of the gospel, values that were so important to Patricia, kindness, love, gentleness, caring. And when we participate in this banquet, as Patricia did so often, then we gain the greatest gift of all, eternal life. Our second reading has that lovely message that nothing absolutely nothing can separate us from the love of Christ. It's a love that a mother has for her sons, for her family. It's clear that God acquits all human frailties and that nothing, absolutely nothing, can separate us from the love of God made visible in the risen Christ. This abundance of love the reading talks about is something that gave Patricia great comfort and solace in life a love she shared with her husband Eamon, their children, and indeed many friends and neighbours. And she now shares herself in the presence of the risen Lord. For Patricia, her family were so important to her, her two boys, Tom and John. She was so proud of them and had every right to be. She loved the grandchildren, Emma and Kieran. All the family have been so good to her over the last 22 years, since her husband, Eamon, passed away. Patricia loved people, loved chatting with them. She could chat away on many topics, religion, politics, current affairs. She loved debating with others, sharing her opinions on the topics. She was always the lady with the big warm smile on her face, with a warm welcome for everybody, the true mother full of love and care for all. She loved getting dressed up and going out on the family occasions. She loved her singing and sang here in the choir in this church 
for many years. She also loved painting and was very gifted with the brush. She loved animals and we must remember her many dogs over the years. She was a member of two ICAs in her day, Ardcat and Stamullen. And if I'm not mistaken, she gave art classes to all the other ladies in the ICA. While our hearts are saddened now at Patricia's passing, it's worth reminding ourselves of the message of the gospel this morning. A gospel message that Patricia heard on many occasions and one that gave her great comfort, great solace. I tell you most solemnly, whoever listens to my words and believes in the one who sent me has eternal life. And that's what Patricia shares in now, eternal life. For Patricia and for people of faith, this assures us in the greatest gift of all that awaits us. The grief we share this day at the death of one so loved is the price we pay for love. The fate we live is the promise of the resurrection that overcomes the darkness of death. May Patricia's soul and the souls of all the faithful departed through the mercy of God rest in peace. Amen. So let us now stand for our prayers of the faith. And Patricia's two grandchildren will lead us in these. God so loved the world that he gave his only son so that all who believe in him will not perish but gain eternal life. Even though we are saddened by death, we know that we can overcome it through the power of Christ's resurrection. Let us then in confidence place our prayers before our loving God. Lord, graciously hear us. Patricia was blessed with many great friends, extended family, and neighbours who were always so good to her. Lord, be with them at this time of loss. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. Lord, reunite Patricia with her late husband, Eamon, parents, Josephine and John, sister Marion, and all her sweet family and friends in eternal life. Lord, hear us. Lord, Lord, Lord graciously hear us. We pray for Patricia's two sons, Tom and John, grandchildren Emma and Kieran, daughter-in-law Martina, and her brother Dermy. May Patricia's love and God's comfort them at this time of great loss. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. Lord, welcome your good and faithful friends, Patricia O'Reilly, into eternal paradise. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. And we pause for a moment for that prayer closest to each of our hearts here this morning. Lord, hear us. Lord, to the resurrection of your Son, you have kindled in our hearts the bright hope of eternal life. Guard this hope with your grace and bring it to fulfilment in the kingdom of heaven. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. My sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God the Almighty Father. As we humbly present to you these sacrificial offerings, O Lord, for the salvation of your servant Patricia, we beseech your mercy that she who did not doubt your son to be a loving Saviour 
may find in him a merciful judge who lives and reigns forever and ever. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, almighty and eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For as one alone he accepted death, so that we might all escape from dying, as one he chose to die, so that in your sight we might all live forever. And so in company with the choirs of angels we praise you, and with joy we proclaim, Holy, Holy, Holy Lord God of hosts, Heaven and earth are full of your glory, Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them like the dewfall, so they may become for us the body and blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion. He took bread, giving thanks. He broke it. He gave it to his friends, gathered with him, and said, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice. And once more giving thanks, he gave it to his friends, gathered with him and said, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. mystery of fate. Save us, Saviour of the world, for by your cross and resurrection you've set us free. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life, the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partake of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your people, the church, spread throughout the world, and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, Tom and Michael, our bishops, and all your people and clergy. Remember our servant Patricia, whom you have called from this world to yourself. Grant that she who was united with your son in a death like his may also be one with him in his resurrection. Remember also our brothers and sisters, our loved ones, who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. And we remember Patricia's husband, Damon, her parents, Josephine and John, and her sister, Marion. Welcome them into the light of your presence. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, St. Joseph, the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you to your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, with him, in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honour is yours forever and ever. Amen. And as we pray together in the words our Saviour gave us, let us pray for the grace to live lives so that one day we can all be reunited in the presence of the risen Lord. Our Father, be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on my sins, but on the fate of your people, the Church, 
and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you all. Amen. Lamb of God. And let us all kneel. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. May the body and blood of Christ bring all who receive it to everlasting life. Let perpetual light shine upon them with your saints forever, for you are merciful, eternal rest grant unto them, O Lord. For communion, I ask you to please remain in your seats. As I approach, if you wish to receive, please stand up.
Let us pray. Lord God, whose Son left us in the sacrament of his body, food for the journey, mercifully grant that, strengthened by it, our sister Patricia may come to the eternal table of Christ, who lives and reigns forever and ever. <laughs> The Lord be with you. Before we go our separate ways, let us take leave of our sister. May our farewell express our affection for her. May it ease our sadness and strengthen our hope. One day we shall joyfully greet her again when the love of Christ, which conquers all things, destroys even death itself. Saints of God, come to our aid. Hasten to meet her, angels of the Lord. Receive our soul and present her to God the Most High. May Christ who called you take you to himself. May angels lead you to the bosom of Abraham. Receive our soul and present her to God the Most High. Eternal rest grant unto her, O Lord, and let perpetual light shine upon her. Receive her soul and present her to God the Most High. Into your hand, fathers of mercies, we commend our sister in the sure and certain hope that together with all who have died in Christ, she will rise on the last day. Merciful Lord, turn towards us and listen to our prayers. Open the gates of paradise to your servant and help us who remain to comfort one another with the assurances of fate until we meet in Christ and we are with your sister forever. In peace. Let us take our sister to our place of rest.